All right, this is Clayton from Startup Takeoff, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the ultimate campaign generator sorter tool that is included in the template package that's showcased in the crash course video, become a, a successful paper call affiliate. This is a very powerful tool, um, the uh, keyword list sorter and campaign builder, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So go ahead into your paper call ultimate toolkit, open up the campaign builder and it has some instructions but I'm going to show you the instructions. We can hide all this, you don't need to see that. And we start with a keyword list, so we need a list of keywords and that's found through however you use your methods of keyword research. Um, for our purposes, let's just go to Google, go into the keyword planner, and get a list of keywords off of a website somewhere. I believe I might even have a list already still in there. Let's say um, ADT.com if we were using home security, which was the example we used in the geo generator tutorial. We'd search their domain, we'd add a whole bunch of keywords this is just one way of building a keyword list in the keyword planner and let's go ahead and download that list in Excel open it up and we're just interested in the keywords here so copy those don't need any of this data don't need this data. We just want the keywords. Now let's go into the campaign builder tool. We have a list of keywords. We paste it in. This is very important. Before the tool will work, you have to come over here and you have to paste in the list again. Go data, text to columns, and spread by the space. Now what it does is it separates each keyword, each word within the keyword phrase into its own cell and the code that this program uses can run and we can sort. And why is sorting important? Sorting is important especially with large keyword lists so we can get the most effective structure of ad groups and so we can stuff keywords into our ad copy for each ad group might sound a little confusing. Let's just get started. I can show you with a simple example. Commercial. We've put in one word and now it's already filtered and it will only match if the search phrase or the keyword phrase contains the word commercial. We can sort by largest to smallest and in our list of 450 keywords we can see In our list of 450 keywords, we can see only five contain commercial. So now we might put this into an ad group called commercial security. And you can see the way the tool works. What if we chose only incorporated? Now, in order for a phrase to be eligible, it must include the word commercial and incorporated. What about systems? Well, two. Two of these phrases include commercial systems and we can go even more granular prices and there's only one keyword phrase that includes all three of these and the reason there's three it's a three by three grid here is because you might want to go system and price because it's simulating a broad match modifier which um, accounts for plurals and misspellings so if there's obvious plurals make sure you put those in in your sorting filters so, if we're sorting by only one keyword, you need X's in the boxes. And let's just go alarm and alarms. And if we're building our campaign at the same time, we're going to hide the commercial security because we've already organized those into their own ad group. Now, it looks like there's a lot of keywords with alarm. So, we might want to go more granular. So, let's go medical. Now, again, it's 
medical alarm and medical alarms, and that's because we put in both variations here. So it's very important to put the plurals in. Sort by largest to smallest, medical alarms. What other kinds of alarms are we seeing? <clears throat> Fire might be another one. Sort. Fire alarms. What's another one? Home or house. Now again, we hide the ad groups we've already structured. These are home alarms. Now what's happening here? What we're doing is we're creating ad groups where the keyword is inside um, where there's a logical structure of keywords within each ad group. So when we go to write our ads for each ad group, and we're only going to write one or two ads for each ad group, we know that all the keywords within that ad group <coughs> will appear in our ad text. So we're going to get high quality scores off the bat, as opposed to just taking this list of 500 keywords, stuffing it in one ad group and having one ad. Now we can quickly and effectively create um, large and uh, granular campaigns and we use it we do it by using this tool so you could go ahead if you wanted to build your campaign copy these just copy it here campaign and this will be um, home alarm campaign and we would want a max CPC and a match type a max CPC of 0.25, a match type is broad. Now I always test with broad match modifiers and I highly recommend it especially as a, an affiliate because if you go gen or if you just use broad keywords you're going to find you get a lot of um, clicks that you should not because it is too broad and you don't have a, an effective list of negatives. So you need to set up your keywords as broad match modifiers with broad match modifiers. So go ahead and do that and you do it by adding a plus sign at the beginning. Whoopsie. And then the way I do it now that I've added a plus to the beginning I just click control F find and replace each space with a space plus and now our keywords are all set up as broad match modifiers. Now again, you would run the Visual Basic script that is included. Um, you watch the tutorial for that to remove repermutations. Because you can see here, um, fire alarm systems and fire alarm system. These are essentially the same as considered by this, uh, <clears throat> as far as broad match modifiers are concerned. So if you remove the plurals and you remove the permutations using the Visual Basic script that's included in the toolkit, you won't have this, um, this dirty data, so you'll know exactly which keyword and how, how much um, traffic each keyword gets explicitly. So we're also going to go ahead and create our ads right beside it. And if we go data, remove duplicates, remove the duplicates from our ad group, we're going to go ahead and this is our headline, this is our len, Description line one, description line two, display URL, destination URL. Let's go ahead <clears throat> and create our ads. Now I'm going to be creating these ads as quickly as possible. And I personally like to put on um, the conditional formatting on the the character count formula to see if I'm going over. And with my headline, I'm allowed 25 characters. And when I'm writing my ads for each ad group, I'm going to make sure to try to stuff the keyword in the headline. So, need commercial security? Question mark. 25 characters, perfect. Now, if this was 26 characters, it's going to warn me. And this just saves me time because when I upload my ads, I don't want to 
Um, I don't want to be uh, worried that I've gone um, too far on my character counts and then the ads just don't show. So fire alarms, medical alarms, home alarms. Let's just go home security <clears throat> systems. Call now for quote. And we're just going to spread this through. And the display URL and the destination URL, you're going to go to the landing pages tutorial. And there I show you how to get the destination URL that's going to get you the cheapest clicks. So you would plug that in here. But for now, I'm just going to use a branded one, which I'm not supposed to. And let's clean this up and get ready to import it into our account. So you can see the power of this tool. We quickly got a list of several hundred keywords. We were able to organize it into specific and targeted ad groups, and we were able to write <clears throat> we were able to write ads with the keywords in the headline. So we know for every one of these ad groups, the keyword will be found and being bid on in the ad group. So let's go ahead and just upload this campaign using the editor. First we upload our keywords. Then we go ahead and upload our ads. And as the final step, we want to go through, assign an ad group bid. In this case, we're just going to do 25 cents. And we're going to go through and do all our typical campaign settings, our mobile bid adjustment at 300%, disable the search partners, Google search only, disable the display network. Um, we want to be accelerated on our delivery, only people within the United States, and we'll set a testing budget of $10. Let's go ahead and post that campaign. And let's pop into our AdWords account. And now you can see the campaign right here. Home Alarm. We have several ad groups. Each ad group has keywords that make sense. And we have ads displaying with the keyword in the headline. And the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our campaign. And we're going to make sure we put in our call extension. Because you don't want to make those silly campaign level errors. So that's the power of the campaign builder um, template that comes with the toolkit, the ultimate paper call affiliate toolkit. And you can see in just 10 minutes, we went from keyword research to organizing those keywords in a logical structure, creating the campaign, writing the ads, and having it uploaded onto Google in less than 10 minutes. <clears throat> so this is a really powerful tool and it becomes especially useful when you're working with keyword lists of <clears throat> 20 to say 100,000 keywords and you really need a structure. So this is Clayton. I hope you got something out of this tutorial and I'll see you next time.